Ari Woka Woka Rele. Today, we shall devote all our chance to paying homage. I pay homage to Ogun, a divinity worthy of worship. Ogun, who had two very sharp cutlasses, sharp as fire, one for work and one for war. He used one for clearing an area for making a farm in the forest. The other, he used for cutting a path into the forest from one place to the other. The type of clothing that Ogun wore on the day he made his descent from Orioke, the day he made his descent from the hill to the plain, I know very well. He wore a flame red coverlet over a blood red tunic. Ogun tied a wrapper that was soaked in blood. Fresh palm fronds were also part of Ogun's clothing. His eyeballs were red and flaming, a rare type. Ogun acquired plenty of wealth on the road and has plenty of money in his house. It was Ogun who cut on the left and the left was totally destroyed. It was Ogun who cut on the right and the right was totally destroyed. It was Ogun, after storing water in abundance in his house, he proceeded to bathe in blood. He is the supporter and provider for any orphan. The Ogun that I know as seven in number Ogun Onire, who is given a huge ram. Ogun Alara, who is given a big dog. Ogun Ikole is appeased with snails. Ogun Elemona is given roasted yam. Ogun Akirun is given the horns of rams. Ogun Umbenabena, Ogun of the wood carvers, who feasts on the vital juice from trees. Ogun Olo Ola, Ogun of the circumcisers, who feeds on blood. Whoever knows Ogun, should not mock Ogun. Asha eje Ogun ro Ogun ro shoko bale. Asha eje Ogun ro Ogun ro shoko mo. Asha eje Ogun ro shoko bale. Asha eje Ogun ro Asha eje Ogun ro baba. Asha eje Ogun ro Ogun ro shoko Ogun ro shoko. Asha eje
Karagade, Ogun, Karagade Baba. Yeah, I reward. 